I want to speak about something. Let me tell you this dream that I had last morning. It was a very demonic, aggressive, very demonic, aggressive, horrible dream. And dreams are not dreams. Dreams are real. Some people may think that dreams are just dreams, but no, they are real. Anyways, I was being harassed by three people. And I believe those three people were demons in the skies. And they were hitting me with some type of weapon. No matter where I ran, no matter where I went, I continued to fight them off and they followed me pretty much everywhere. And the effects of that dream carried on, how can I say that? The way that I was feeling in that dream, I felt some of that effects on me while I was waking up. This is why you all need to pray for me, man. I'm serious. I am just one person. I need continuous prayer. I need to pray more myself as well. And sometimes I usually have demonic dreams, but that dream there, that was very, very aggressive. Very aggressive. Every so often, I may hit one really, really aggressive. And today, while I was thinking about my dream, it made me think about people who are in hell. If you go to hell, demons have full power over you. It is true. You can't escape. If they were so focused on harassing me while I was asleep, imagine being under their full power. Imagine what you would have to go through. Kevin, I am a witch and demons are my friend. Listen, demons have no loyalty. <laughs> Satan has no loyalty. They are just using you once you are used up. When you no longer have authority on this earth. So when you die. Oh my Lord, man. Once you die, the game is up. They are just using you now because God gave humans authority on this earth. So if they want to do something on this earth. They have to use a human. You are being used to harm your other brothers and sisters, the human race. You are helping demons and Satan that hate all humans, including you. You are helping them to destroy your brothers and sisters. How foolish is that? When you die and go to hell, because if you continue to work with demons, that is exactly where you are going to go. The game is over. They are going to show you, listen, man, 
if they are willing to do so much evil to other people, what makes you different? Anyways, I was being harassed in that dream. What about the people who are in hell? Constant harassment, constant torture. How can you endure that? Think about that. Back around the time when I would pray for three hours a day and read my Bible for two hours a day, I believe God will show me so many visions of things, so many dreams and stuff like that. And many of them was demonic. One time I saw this huge wide demon with no skin. I never saw anything like that before. It did not make any sense to me. And I was thinking, why am I being exposed to this? Show me something good. I want to see angels in heaven and stuff like, why am I being shown skinless demons or a skinless demon or demons with crazy long horns and stuff like that? I don't want to see that. Kevin, how can you stay so devoted to God? When you see stuff like I have seen and other people have seen, that petty sins that you may have a difficult time stopping, it's not worth it, man. When you see When you get close to God, he is going to show you some stuff, man. Back when I was in sin, yes, I enjoyed certain sins, yes. But seeing the stuff that I have been shown, I have been, I have been shown some very crazy stuff. This one time, actually more than one time, I believe I was seeing like an overview look of a certain part of hell while this one time I was praying and I was shown that and I am thinking, what in the world? I don't want to see this. I did not see anyone there, but I was shown this pit why am I being shown that? I don't think I am in sin. And that happened more than one time. <sighs> you don't want to go to hell. You may say foolish things. Well, Kevin, I don't care if I, if I go to hell because whatever. This earth is hell, so it doesn't matter. The little that I have seen of demons and other things, that is more of an incentive to do right by God. Oh my Lord. If you want to go to hell, I'm serious now. I am dead serious. If you want to go to hell, pray to God, ask God to give you a supernatural experience of hell, to send your spirit to hell for a while. Then after you go, 
Tell me if you still want to stay there. Better yet, ask God to show you the worst things that he has shown me. <laughs> now, after seeing that, tell me if you still want to go to hell. If you do, you are a very brave man or woman, by far. A skinless demon. I never saw anything like that ever. A skinless demon. It makes no sense. And these crazy horns, like way out here and stuff like, man, but you say that you want to go to hell. Do you believe that when you go to hell, they are going to give you a nice couch and a TV and some food and some water and some stuff like that? Do you believe that? Better yet, don't eat don't drink anything for three months. If you can do that, I would be amazed. If you can't do that, then you aren't ready for hell. Better yet, jump in a pool of fire or let me not say that because somebody may do it. <laughs> you are not ready. You are not ready to go to hell. You don't want to go to hell. Please listen to what I am saying. When you have these demonic experiences, man, it is really going to open your eyes. Listen. I never have seen a demon that was happy to see me. Never. Almost everyone I saw, I should tell you about this other time, but almost everyone I saw looked at me with hatred. I did not do anything, well, I don't know. I may have done something to them, I don't know. But from my understanding, I don't think I did anything wrong toward them, unless I would have bind and cast them out. I pray that this makes sense. Get your life right with God. Like I said, if you are having trouble with sin and you want to stop sinning, pray to God, ask God to show you hell. Ask God to give you one day in hell. when that happens <laughs> you are not going to like it so I pray that this makes sense this is not a game man this is not a game if you truly want to change and you say that you have not been successful in changing Ask God to send you to hell for a while. Since you can handle it. Ask God to put you through the worst, worst tortures. Ask him. <laughs> okay. God bless you. Or... Maybe I should not say that. <laughs> well, 
God bless you.